Welcome back, another day, another video. Um, today I like to um, show you uh, how to distinguish the different morphs. Um, it's a common question um, I really get a lot. Um, Tim helped me to identify my boa and uh, in my opinion that is one of the main problems that uh, there are a lot of people right now that are uh, breeding or just reproducing boas. Um, but they don't really know what they are doing or what they are combining um, and um, people are buying boas without knowing the parents the origin and um, yeah that that leads uh, to a problem that uh, some animals are um, labeled uh, according to their look so if they have a lot of dots uh, uh, they are called an arabesque if they have like a, a lot of uh, uh, squares uh, in, in the tail, um, it's, it's a motley. And uh, so I just grabbed our latest uh, VPI snow glow litter uh, from, it's from breeding um, VPI snow glow to a triple head snow glow. Uh, so we have a lot of different uh, morphs in there. Um, and I like to have a look uh, with you how the different morphs look like, what I'm looking for. Um, I reduced the litter, there are 34 babies uh, in this litter, so uh, that would be a mess. I would be very busy uh, to only put the babies back uh, in, the, in the tub um, because they are already pretty active. So I, I just took out some of the morphs in there and uh, yeah, so let's let's have a look. Um, as you can see, we have a very different, obvious different looking boars in here, but also some that are looking pretty similar, similar, um, but uh, aren't at all. So, for example, to make a uh, for the start to make it a bit di different, a bit a bit difficult. Uh, this is an aneuritistic boar um, and for comparison here this is a double head VPI snow. Uh, so what I'm doing is I'm comparing the tails and you can see clearly here uh, uh, the complete brown uh, color is missing. So if the, if the, um, the red is missing uh, this it is called an aneuritristic uh, boa so this is what it what it looks like um, if you are combining uh, hypo with aneuritristic it is a ghost so this this is what what a ghost uh, boa looks like you can see that uh, it has a reduced amount of black and um, also the saddles uh, along the back uh, are more of the shape uh, of a butterfly like it is uh, typical for um, hypomelanistic boas. So these are the first three different uh, type, types of morphs we uh, find in here. So let's put them aside. All right, so now we are left with um, also a visual VPI. This is a VPI, 100% head snow because the father is a, a visual VPI snow glow. Um, so uh, this is a perfect example. Uh, the VPI aren't looking very spectacular um, after birth. They really need a couple of months better, like one or two years to show their real potential, their real color. Um, but you can clearly tell the difference. So this is what a, a, a VPI looks like, a VPI T plus albino. And compared here, is, a, is it combined with hypo? So this is a VPI sun glow. 100% head snow glow as the whole litter is and again you can if you compare 
the pattern um, on the uh, um, of the saddles. Um, you can tell the VPI got way more inclusions. Also, uh, sometimes you can see this widow peak pattern um, that is uh, pretty common with uh, comes along with the VPI um, animals. And if you compare the tail, you can clearly see the difference between the VPI and the VPI Sunglow. All right. So we have uh, a few animals left. So coming to the visuals, this is a VPI snow. So it's uh, pretty similar if you imagine that you are removing the red uh, pigments um, of a VPI T plus albino. Um, this is what it looks like and if you are adding the hypo it looks like this so this is a VPI snow glow this is a VPI snow and uh, once you have seen the difference it is pretty obviously uh, what uh, which animal is uh, what morph What I did not show you yet is the difference between a, a hypo or a ghost and a super ghost or a super hypo. So this is getting a bit more uh, difficult. For example, this is a, a regular hypo. You can see the black surroundings in the tail. This is uh, how, it, uh, how a, a simple regular uh, hypo looks like compared to this animal where you can see there is no black surroundings in the tail at all so this is uh, clearly a super hypo so super hypo means um, if you breed the super hypo to a regular boa for example uh, you receive 100 percent hypos because this animal is only able to pass the hypogene um, to its offspring. So I hope you liked this uh, short video and I hope it helps a bit, at least to identify uh, um, if you are having a VPI snow glow litter, uh, to distinguish what kind of morphs you are dealing with. And um, as always, I really like. Uh, I really. Uh, I'm really happy uh, if you subscribe to uh, to our channel. Um, I try to uh, keep on making uh, videos on a regular basis. Um, also, forward this video uh, to your friends. I'm really looking forward as well to all the ideas you got. What what else you like to see? Um, leave a comment and uh, let me know. Looking forward to see you soon. Bye bye.